Welcome back. We're continuing with Chelsea's run at the championship here. Uh, this is the first episode on Twitch. All the rest are on the YouTube if you want to see the previous ones. Um, let's see how we're doing. All right. Let's double check. All right, continuing with the season. We have finished a couple games so far in the preseason. Not doing too well yet. In the preseason, you can see um, we won our first game 5-1. to one. Second game was 2-2. Two, two to two. We think we won the first uh, one before that, like 2-1, to one, something like that. We've got lots and lots of injuries. And Chelsea has an issue. They have a lot of people on vacation or injured right now. So we're definitely going to look to uh, keep control of minutes. And I want to check the tactics as well and see if we can keep the guys uh, not running at full speed to try, try to stay calm. I said right now we're at cautious um, right now. And it's sort of like to keep the guys from wearing themselves out. Um this is kind of like a, a hosh posh, mosh posh of different people all mixed up. You can see uh, this is how tired they were. They were all in their 50%, 60%. Um, definitely got to keep track and not wear anybody out. I don't want to cause an injury before we start. We'll definitely uh, keep an eye on, oh, mentality here. So we'll definitely keep the mentality cautious, defensive. This is usually what happens when you're definitely going to lose. But in this case, it's preseason. I, I don't care. So I'm just going to continue try to rush through this. Um, this is another round. So they, this game goes day by day, and they go every single thing that goes on. Right now, they're flashing through all the different games that are going on. Now they're going the next game. It's a travel day, a couple physical things. And then they run through, like, social media, and they got Facebook things like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look at these to see if there's anything interesting. Okay, so... Um, uh, do, do, do. any players? Let's see. I want to. I want to add um, a couple teams here. I'll manage. I'm sorry. Let's see. I wonder how I add another team. I'm going to see if we can do this. Dortmund's got tons of players that are interesting. I just definitely want to keep track if any of their players are, are uh, leaving or they're being cut, things like that. Um, I know I've got Bundesliga on here. Um, let's see. It says Chelsea so far. Um, oh, this is like an option if you want to add Arsenal. I'm adding all the teams in the PML. Premier League. Just, uh, I guess it won't let me do Dortmund. For some reason, I'm sure at some point I'll figure it out. That's not a big issue. Uh, let's see. Looks like no visuals coming through. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Looks better. Okay. Good sign. I just wanted to double check and make sure everything was working. Not a super action game, but it's more of a planning game. And it goes to your passion if you really like to watch a lot of soccer, which I do, especially the PML, especially Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund or the PML. Those are my two favorites. But uh, anyway, so here are different things going on. I don't see a lot interested in here. Different news articles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Now I'm at the inbox. I'm a manager. I get uh, emails. So going through, looks like Moscow is... 
uh, upset because they got a draw, which is weird. Um, Uh, yeah, that's a typo there. Oh, Chelsea's fans left them with frustration at their team. Oh, okay. So it's just a summary. Pedro gave a header, scored. Barkley also put them out in front. Next. Free transfer. Oh, this is just a summary. I hired somebody from the previous stream. I can ask him to recommend signing, but again, I'm not capable of hiring anybody right now, so I'm not going to ask for opinions. It'll probably just be a waste of time. By the time I finally get a player, I probably won't be able to get him because somebody else will have already signed him. So, um, this is just continuing to check on a player I asked him to check. He says he's extremely interested. He has a very high potential, so I'll keep him on the short list. He's only 18 years old and has a really low salary, so I'm going to keep an eye on him. I'm not going to make an offer because no transfers are allowed, so next. Acknowledge. All right. Next player, he's also looks like up to four pros and cons. Um, looks possible. Um, he's extremely interested. Oh, it's the same guy. Yeah. I don't know why they showed it to me again. Okay, post-match analysis. Here we've got um, Chelsea had possession 63% of the time, but only seven shots on goal. Maybe I need to tell them to be more aggressive, um, take more shots, take more chances, things like that. Um, everybody's kind of in the sixes. Alonso had a 7.4. Wow. I did tell him to be more aggressive. Maybe that was why. Maybe that the game rewarded that. I don't think he was in the middle as a center back at the time, but a lot of people are injured. So anyway, um, here's Lolicon. He got a four-year deal worth three thousand two or three point two million. Um, that's a pretty high salary, but he was a very high ranking. Um, he had a like really high level of discipline. Oh, goal! Oh yeah, he was a 19-19-19 distribution, handling, and shot stopping. So. I'm guessing that by having coaches with high skills, the players will get better. Like if you have training that goes on, then the player will be uh, increased in ability. And that's what I was hoping for. I don't know if that's true, but that's just my guess. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, loan offers made. Ah, so somebody wants one of my coaches. Oh, they want loan offers made for McCormick. McCormick is a 20-year-old player on Chelsea. I have accepted offers due to the player being on the loan list. So this guy was already on the loan list. I think I put him on the loan list. So they're giving, uh, they're, he's going to be out on loan. Um, he's a midfielder. They're giving 11000 per month. Oh, and they're giving 14000 per month. Um, this one's going to use him as an attacking. Um, my client is waiting to discuss with those teams. Happy to stay at the club. Oh, so three bids were made. And one club is interested. Okay. Um, now we've got uh, somebody study goalkeeping coach studying for coaching qualifications with the goal of getting continental pro license so he's being trained um, i guess i agreed to that before the more players with the more licenses probably means their reputation increases just a guess we'll see how it goes um homegrown players update okay so now another two players are qualified as homegrown after spending three years with the club there's one of the rules. I think it's across all of PML. You have to have eight players. I know our team has that. You have to have eight players that are homegrown. They want to continue making sure that we're not just taking all international players, that we have some English players on the team since it's an English league. That makes sense. Um, upcoming status changes. They've got names of players on this list. So over time, um, next year, we're going to have a whole bunch more changing status 
and this just shows when they played. It's a lot of details, I don't really want to memorize all that. Here's a scouting report. Um, on the next team we're going to play. Um, tells me good things about the team. If this was not pre-season, I would probably look into this and try to adapt to it. Um, but for the most part, it's just in a, you know ideas about the, their formation. What, like if they said, oh, we have a really strong defender on the right side, then I'll probably tell my team to go to the left. Things like that. Or if they have a strong attacker, or make sure my best players are on that side. Um, but it says 24 more strengths and 22 more weaknesses. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. If that were you know higher up on the importance on the league, I would watch that. Training schedule for the next few weeks. Just going on to the list. You know, nothing too interesting right here. In the very first week of the season, I accidentally scheduled three games, and that's part of the reason why my team's probably so tired. Um, I'm, yeah, oops. <laughs> Nobody was injured, I don't think. Or somebody, like, got a bloody knee or something, but nothing too serious. Pre-match report, you can see where the positions are, um, where they spend most of their time. A lot of detail there. They focus on the left side for their attacks. So we'll want to make sure our right side of our defense is good. Most vulnerable to 442. So if we wanted to try a 442, now would be a good time to do that. Um, I'm just going to stick to what we're currently doing. We need a lot of repetition to get formations to increase in abilities. So I'll just stick with that. Next, we have a new coach, under 18, super low salary. He agreed, that's nice. And we could ask him for recommended signings. I'll go ahead and skip that for now. Um, I think with scouting, we can go ahead and go and in, look into more of that if we want. 80% of McCormick's salary will be paid at the duration. So McCormick was going on. He's going, we're going to get some money in here. We already got tons of money for Hazard and a bunch of other guys uh, at the beginning of the year from recent transfers. So money's not an issue at this point, and we still can't do any signings. So we're just kind of swimming in money till the end of the year. And then next year, um, in about what five more months, we can start getting more players. We'll see what we need. I'm guessing we'll need defense. You've been asked to la uh, label a preliminary squad for the preseason training camp. All right, I can say auto is select or auto select include youth prospects. Let's do that auto select with youth prospects. They took a lot of the same starters and then a bunch of also youth prospects. So. Some of the best players. It looks like Billy Gilmore, if you've heard of him. He's good. They only have 35 people, but we only have 35 people available. So I basically just took everybody. Everybody else is injured or on vacation. Now we've got a training report. Summary of the advice. Georgino wants more technical possession training. Uh, Okay. This is just going play, player by player. Aspilicueta may be unhappy with training. Okay, technical defending training. I wonder if I respond to that and do that, or I just let the coaches do that. Um, Conte... Pay close attention. He may become unhappy with training. Wanting to do more technical position training. Okay, so more technical position training. I wonder if they'll just get that during the actual. Pedro wants an inside forward role. 
I could say start training. Mitzi, Mitchy Batsui as a left winger, focus on developing him inside forward role, uh, start training. Emerson, wing back role, start training. Emerson, corner taking. Requires significant improvement and start individual training. Barkley is a free kick taking. Individual training. Aspilicueta. Long throw training. Okay. Michi Batsuai improved if he stopped trying to play one, two passes as his passing isn't good enough. Start training. Barkley would improve if he were discouraged from shooting with so much power, as doing so doesn't make most of his excellent technique. Okay, start training. Zuma improved if he adapted to stop attempting through balls in order to hide some of his passing deficiencies. Okay, start training. Suggest this uh, Axtell to handle quickness training for Chelsea as he's well suited for coaching in that re response. Okay, uh, add coach assignment. Suggest assigning Jody Morris to technical defending coaching to balance the workload. Okay. Recommend him for technical. Okay. Him for strength conditioning. Okay. Technical attacking. Okay, so here's just the coaching assignments that they all were. Everyone's light on the required. That's probably because we don't have a full team. Yeah, we have a lot of coaches. All right, next we've got more social media. Ah, oh, now they've got more players and teams that they're recommending that I follow. Okay, definitely always watch Bayern Munich. Um, might as well watch Germany. Okay, that's good. Uh, different signings. Arsenal want Zaha. Really? You don't say. Bundesliga window opens. Bayern Munich expected to make major moves. Interested in right back Borussia Dortmund signing these two players. Checking players. I know some of these guys, so I'm just checking to see how they're doing. Hired at 56 million. Oh my gosh. Extremely. 
extremely good at dribbling, 18, agility, 18, acceleration, 17, ambidextrous, another wonder kid, about speed, pace, 15, that's good. They just say good, they don't say... Go ahead and scout it, just because, you know, snatching somebody like that would be awesome. Okay, notice contracts on Chelsea players set to expire. The recommended actions are marked. They recommend that a delay deciding on William, Giroud, Pedro, Caballero, Van Ginkle, Kennedy, Nardi, Grant, Lavinia, Russell, Wakeley, um, it just says delay them all. I think for now I don't want to decide on anything, so. They all expire at the end of the season anyway, so I got a long time to decide. Alright, I want to see my team real quick, squad. We got Kepa, Aspilicueta, Zuma, Alonso, Emerson, Barkley, Jorginho, Kovacic, Conte, he's really good, Pedro, Batswai, Caballero, Baker, who I think, yeah, he's transfer listed, so he's about to transfer. Giroud, Rudiger, Blackman's Hurt, Zapacosta, Christensen, Tamori's still on vacation. James is injured, of course. And a bunch of other players. I wish I had like ability on here on this screen if I was if I was a thing, because I have to click on every single person if I want to see, oh yeah, my best players are here, or rank by skill or something like that. How hard is that? I try to pretend I'm a coach, I guess so. Average rating. Maybe it's too early to call it average rating. I don't know. Um, and then we still have Mount, Pulisic, hudson Odoi, Abraham, Morata. Oh, okay, so he's joining Madrid at the end of the year. All right. More inboxes, more social media stuff that's going on. Reading through. All right, I don't see anything too interesting, at least for my team. Can't make any uh, new moves anyway. All right, <laughs> slow news day much. You had to put that up here, huh? Rejected offer from Chicago. Interesting. Success rejects, that sounds good. All right, continuing. More social media. Seems to never end in this game. They try to invent all this stuff going on and mix it all up. And they're probably trying to think that a coach would have to wade through all of this. 
Oh, so these are what the news were and who was referred to, and do you want to follow the people you saw? Oh, so this is just more opportunities to follow people. There's just another way of showing it. Okay. Chelsea youth contracts to expire four people are lacking potential they recommend I delay it I got plenty of money if I have to they're not in the way I don't think delay fine question from 90minute.com's Wayne Oliver. Kennedy's work permit is due to expire when his contract is up. Are you confident of securing a new one to go alongside a new deal with him for him? Um, he's one of the 23 year old wingers. He's a fringe player. He's balanced. I can click on him and see. So he's two and a half stars. Seven caps. He doesn't have any distinguishable high strengths besides flair and first touch and long shots. Not sure if any of that is useful. Let's go back. Um, I'm just going to say I don't see any reason why he wouldn't get one. Our research indicates that it would be relatively unlikely that he'd get an extension for what it's worth. I think we have a convincing case, but only time will tell. I'll show you that. Okay. That's a probably, but we'll see. Scouting meeting. This was the fullback that we were looking at a lot of different fullbacks. He expects a very high salary, extremely expensive. He's currently for Bayern Munich. They still have him a four star, four star. Uh, 81 would be a quality signing, poor in the air. So he would be a good player, but he's extremely expensive. So um, I'll keep him on the short list, but obviously I can't make him an offer right now. I don't think we'd sign him, but maybe. He's got lots of strengths. He's right at that age, too. I think defenders are best around 30 years old between 27 and 33 or something, something like that. So he's right about the right age to, to get much even better if we wanted him to. So I'll say acknowledge. Then we get another 81. This is a 26-year-old world-class goalkeeper. So another goalkeeper, um, very expensive, dubious if he has transfer interest in us. He's right now with... Madrid, Atletico Madrid, I believe it's called. Um, doesn't have very many uh, negatives. I'll keep him on the short list. I know we have Kepa and he's good, but maybe he'll take a turn for the worse. I'm just guessing, maybe. I think he's on like a five year contract, so. Alright, Tiago, currently with Bayern. Midfielder, might have problem with injury. He's only a three and a half and a 71. So extremely expensive. I'm going to not add him to the short list. I know he's good, but he's not quite that good. This is very technical. Golovin, 23 year old attacking midfielder. Pretty expensive, but a high potential. Outstanding performer. Would probably fail to get gain a work permit. Hmm. Interesting. 
Should I put them on the short list? I wonder what the work permit means as far as this game goes. If he fails to get a work permit, it probably means he won't be able to actually transfer or sign the contract. He says he's extremely interested. Well, you're in Russia, of course you're extremely interested. Um, I'll keep him on the short list. He has a high potential, so. All right, Pavon from Argentina. MLS, on loan to Boca. I think it'd be worthwhile getting a scout looking into him. I see his skills, got a lot of natural fitness and determination, plus he's from Argentina, that's always good. Um, he's a winger. I don't know if we need a winger. Average rating was good. Wouldn't hurt to scout the player. Let's do that. I know that we're not looking at people for another six months, but he's young. And you never know. The timing might be right. Ooh, this player is Argentina. Extremely good. He's a four star. Could be four and a half star. A lot of agility. How about his pace? 14. Pretty good. Technique 19. Long shot 16. First touch 17. I think he's a very good player. Let's go ahead and um, had him to the short list. He's a 90. Wow. That's really high. I haven't seen too many players around 90. Let's just keep him on that short list. Um, here's a midfielder, 4-4. Four, four. It says he would be quality. He's 82, but, um, I mean, yeah, 82. But he's 30 and he's a midfielder. Pretty expensive. I'm not going to put him on the short list. I know he's got skill, but this is his age. Next, unread. This is the recommended team that they think we should use. Um, it's fine. I mean, it's preseason. Sure, why not? I can always change it later if I have a reason. Uh, like they have to have a confirmation email. That's great. Okay. Compile information on the current crop of players out on loan. We've got ability and potential for all these players. I have loan reports on everybody. Everybody seems to be happy except for Charlie Brown, Clark Salter. They're probably not getting enough play time, playing time, but they're not that good. So, oh well. A lot of high potential for these guys. Matt Miatska, he I like him. Uh, defender. Um, so I can read the reports on players. It's basically blank. Okay. Morale quite good. Low happiness. I can also recall players from loan, but loans may not be canceled within the first 28 days. Next, we've got pre-match tactical briefing reminder. Um, other team, good number of touches in penalty area. 40 entries into six shots on goal. They conceded. One of three shots from outside the penalty area. Struggle to make inroads into attacking areas from the left. Just six of the 40 entries coming from there. I'm going to hand over the skip. The, I'm going to hand it to the assistant coach. He emphasized pass relentlessly. So be prepared. Don't force the pass. Work it in the box instead. Okay.
more social media. Here's a list of the teams. Maybe if I click on it, it'll go to it. Let's try it just to see. Oh, no, that goes to the team. And go to the media. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Mike, cautiously optimistic on Kennedy's new work permit. Oh, that was me. So they, that's what they wrote in the news article. Quick report on the late fitness test regarding the conditioning of Christensen. Sharpness 74. Not quite fully fit. Should be monitored. He's the one with the gash floor thing I was talking about. Yeah, I don't think he's going to play. Preview. They use that 4141. Their biggest strength is the attacking midfielder. Weakness on finishing. Here's our team. Christensen not ready, so I need to swap him out. Who do we got? We have defenders. Anybody? Anybody at all? Um, I hate to put Alonzo. Baker's just an emergency backup. What if we put... Yeah, see, everybody's still in the 70s and 80s. They're going to be tired. Definitely want to be slower in this. Oh, what should we do for, should we switch? Let's see, we got Caballero back here. He's a little bit more rested than Kepa. He also needs to improve sharpness, but everybody needs to improve sharpness, so everybody needs to play. We're just short on people right now. Who could replace who and what would it help? Well, we've got a Giroud still on the bench here. Giroud is a center forward. How about Batswai for left and Giroud up front? There we go. So I think he said he wanted to get more practice on the left anyway. Or was it the right? Why is Barkley up here in the forward? Am I really that low on players? I am. What's that? I don't know what that two means. Are they trying to say two out of position? Yeah, I know. My forwards are going to be in trouble, but Barkley's good at shots. He takes a lot of shots. He scores a lot. I think he'll be okay. Alright, team selection. Check. Dressing room. Pep talk. See if we can make them happy. Um, I'm going to assertively say it's all off. It's over to all of you now. Have a good one tonight. Team Citizar should be winning this match without any problem at all. One player was moving me. Okay. 
the defense, we can say assertively, I want you to give us all defensive out there and nobody cares. Okay. Midfield, I want you to take control of the midfield assertively. Eh, Kovacic, one player. Isn't he the same guy that was motivated last time? Yep. And attacking, we can say assertively, get out there and grab us some goals. Giroud said nothing. But they told me that Giroud said nothing. Okay. Well, they're probably tired. Maybe they're not really ready to play because they're so worn out from other games. But anyway, so I'm going to go kind of quickly, just going to be showing the key highlights. Again, it's preseason. It's questionable whether I even need to have this anyway, but it's good practice for me. I think I can get all the guys hurt before the season starts. I already have a Conte's got an injury. Let's put in Baker or Alonzo. No, Baker's better. Here's a highlight. Emerson to Giorgino to Baker to Giorgino to Baker over to Barkley and he's denied. This is a very slow game. For a fourth of the way in we have one shot. Other team only has one shot too. They got a yellow. Am I doing the Coach smile. Barkley's over to Botswai. Emerson. Come on, Emerson. Crossed it. Barkley scored. All right. Barkley. I knew I put you on offense on purpose. Emerson's like, follow me, follow me. They gave it to you. Easy shot there. Yes. Uh-oh, corner kick. Yeah, good job, Zuma and Aspilicueta. Yeah, there's halftime. Up oh, one zip. This is where I tell people that we need more possession and more conversion into shots. So be more aggressive, I'll say. Um, I need to passionately say... Please, how these are going, keep it up. Tell the defense aggressively, no, passionately, impress your solid defending. Majority of the players were negatively. Okay, so don't say that. Um, maybe they would have been happier if we were up 5 0. Um, passionately say to the midfield, no, I was not happy, so I'll say cautiously disappointed with your efforts to control the midfield. They reacted positively to that. Okay. I just have to say it how it is. Um, aggressively, no. Yeah, let's go ahead and aggressively say, I'm disappointed with the quality of your finishing. Nothing done. Okay. And they're always about nothing. Passing the ball around and around and around and around and around and around. Looks like Barkley is tired, but they're all in the 60s. Ooh. They had a shot. Good save by Kepa. And cleared out. Barkley's on the run. He looks like he was kind of tired running there. He does dribble very slowly. He's a slow dribbler. We got people in the low 60s. Might want to take somebody out. All right, Georgina with a header from the line. Wow, that was highly unlikely. That was awesome. Taking up shots and bam, look at that. How did the goalie slip? This is running right through his arms. All right, I'm going to make a sub just because I can make a couple subs. Let's see who we want to trade. We could take 
We can put Alonzo in. He's a defender. Which defender is the most tired? They're all tired. Let's swap him for Emerson. That way it's the right position. Pedro come in. He's an attacking midfielder. Which attacking midfielder was tired? Ooh, Barkley's really tired. And we want to put the goalie in for an attacker just for kicks. I'm tempted, but we're not winning by quite enough yet. Okay, we'll try that another time against when we're like up by five just to see what happens. I know you want to see what happens. I'm curious. I don't think Keppo would score, but maybe Caballero would. Maybe he'd be a. They do a cross and you get a header or something. Uh oh. Hasta Laqueta hurt him in the box. That's a penalty kick. And that was an easy goal. He popped that one in. Bad play. They're not good at finishing, but if you give them free kicks, they're probably going to make them. Penalty kicks, especially. Uh, they crossed and got another goal. It's that same side over there. I'm noticing a pattern. Our right defensive players. That's Azpilicueta, same side. You gotta come up and guard him. Maybe because he's got a yellow, he's afraid or something. Maybe yes. Corner kick. At the end of the game, here's Kovacic to Georgino. Back to Botswana. Nope. And everybody's tired, and we are going to go out with a, I get a free kick. The game's about to end. Oh, that's our free kick. Botswai back to Alonso to center, and nope. Ooh, they got an injured player in the game. Chelsea will be unhappy. They couldn't hold the narrow win I predicted before the game, but credit to the other team for battling until the final whistle. <laughs> My coach says, tell the team that their performance was disappointing. All right, I'm going to tell them assertively that you were not good enough today. We should have been winning. Everyone, well, some people were happy. Emerson was stressed out. Oh, Palmieri. Telling the defense, disappointed with your defensive efforts. And the goalie was demotivated. And disappoint with your efforts to control the midfield. Majority of the players reacted positively. Okay, they looked fired up. You said how it is. Tell the attackers assertively that disappointed with their quality of finishing. I already tried that. They didn't like it. I appreciate your efforts. You were unlucky today. I thought you were a bit lazy out there. Standards need to be bad if you want to stay with the team. We'll try that one and see if it did. Hey, Giroud was motivated. Okay, we finally got through to him. we got to shake him up. <laughs> All right. Scores, who cares? More. Conte struck by injury. When did that happen? Oh, that was during the game, early in the game. Out about a day, tight hamstring. Yeah. Nothing new. Bunch of players, bunch of news, nothing new. Okay. Injured being tackled. Okay. Denied by late goal. Bunch of news kind of similar to last time. Hmm. More news. Nothing too exciting. Continue, continue. Another game against a different team in, in the Russian league. 
Hopefully better than the two twos that we had in the last two games. Post match analysis. Giordino is good. That's why he didn't play well. Good to know. Ooh, he had a low score, 6.3. Signed deal. Alright, the other team, good at dribbling. Capable at shooting from long range. Sounds scary. They're cautious and flexible. So does that mean we need to be aggressive or else we won't score? Maybe. Let's see how tired these guys are. I wonder if... I would think aggressive would mean more tires. But maybe it's not related to that at all. Maybe it's how each player is supposed to play. Here's a bunch of uh, scouting and things that are going on. Different players that are getting hired. Gone in and out, different teams, who's spending the most, whatever. Okay. Four weeks till the end of the transfer season. I can't make any transfers anyway, so I don't care. More social media, next. Showing who to pick for the next game. Benefits from all these different players. Alonso is considered a physical player. That's questionable. Hmm. That's pretty much the same lineup as last time. Except we got Baker in here. That's good. I'll go ahead and start and say we're using it. And then I'll look at it right before and probably change it up. Preseason report for Leicester. Leicester. Ooh, they got Chilwell for defense. Vardy, he's the he has score. He scores a million goals. Their media is predicting them for be seventh. Wow. That's it. Following matches have been chosen for live television coverage. 